Welcome to another video. Uh, uh, this device has come in today, it, well a couple of days ago actually. It's a HP um, all-in-one desktop computer and uh, it's not the touchscreen one, a little bit older than that. But um, well, a good working machine. Uh, it's been to a, another shop and they've, they couldn't diagnose the fault. They said it's got blue screens and this, this and that and the hard drive's okay. And I've done a, a few tests and the hard drive does seem, seem okay. But I suspect that's what the issue is because I've had machines in before when you do in-depth hard drive tests, they, um, they uh, do pass, but I know what happens with this machine is when you when you move the mouse around on the screen it, it kind of freezes for a second uh, the memory is fine that's all good uh, so i suspect it's the uh, the hard drive so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull the back off and we're going to replace the uh, the hard drive that's in there i said to the customer if you'll make it run a bit quicker let's go for a uh, a uh, nssd and uh, it will run yeah, pretty sweet five times faster so let's go ahead and uh, crack on with that. I should take the back off and take it from there. All right, to get the back off, uh, there's just a, a one screw there, one screw there, and that will lift off pretty easily. So I'm just gonna put it down here. I don't know if you can see that, I'm sure you can. But uh, if you turn the screw, this will just pop out position, as you can see. You can hear the cracking, and you can see in your on the other side, uh, there's the same thing on that side. Now you may just have to get a little prizing tool just to get the get in between there and that will easily easily come off there you go it's pretty straightforward Let's put that to one side and then we can have a look here um, I'll, I'll move the camera angle actually sorry about the uh, the way these things are but there's not much I can do that's better for you there isn't it yep yeah, that's a lot better so you can see there's the hard drive just there and you've got the the connectors there so what we're going to do is pull that hard drive out okay and that has now been released okay so we'll take the drive out and we're going to upgrade it to an SSD because I, I just think it's still a good machine it doesn't need to be throwing the bin uh, so yeah you got the CD drive there you got the motherboard underneath there and it's fairly clean it really is it's you know <coughs> it's quite good I like these machines they pretty easy to work on and because size of that fan that's got some serious cooling in there isn't it okay to so remove the old hard drive now what I've what I've got here actually is a hard drive bracket and that should sit in position there so uh, let's see I've never used one of them before never needed to so let's have a, have a go so I've got a, a, uh, a crucial 500 gig SSD uh, of which I have a, a link below in the description you'll see it uh, so let's pop that out there you go. I've, I've sold quite a few of these and I've had no issues with them. I like the drives. Um, yeah, I think they're value for money, um, especially in this day and age that we're going through economic, rough economic times. These are pretty good, good drives. Um, I think uh, the best thing to do, first of all, is put the hard drive, so this, this goes that way. Just make sure you line everything up correctly. This will sit like, like so. So it needs to be somewhere there. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll. I assume it goes in like so. It looks quite white, doesn't it? So, you know, we've got a set of screws. Um, this should be lining up perfectly. Yeah, we have. I've got a line there, so I'm going to pop up comes with a batch of screws. I've also got this bracket um, from from Amazon, uh, and, and there's a link uh, for this for, for the both products in the description. You might get it cheaper off uh, off eBay, but sometimes you know sometimes you want things a little bit quicker. I always look on both sometimes, you know, for for things like this because 
sometimes your, your own supplies don't stop these kind of um, products that are not that popular um, I was uh, I did I did speak to my my own supplier about the, uh, the hard drive but they didn't have um, well they did have the one in but it was so expensive I thought I ain't paying that you know, so I said I'd look on Amazon and they will take it from there and I have bought loads of Amazon over 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 over, over the years, you know. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I can't get that screw in. Let me loosen that one up a little bit just to make sure that one's in place. Okay, so they're both well, that was still a bit in that position there. Make sure they all line up. Okay, that should. So I'm just trying to get these two holes to line up. They're not lining up very well. Okay. Put the other two hole screws in. And uh, someone's knocking on the door saying, my lunch is here. So, uh, I'll, I'll wait, there's no rush for lunch. Um, so that should go into position. I'm not sure if that's actually going to reach. Um, wrong way around. Let's, let's put it in to position um, and see. We might have to just use one of the screws rather than got three holes there actually so even if it means I have to go up to here don't mind doing that um, it's not a, not a problem because that may not go all the way um, I don't think it's going to reach so let's, let's have a go put this into position holes have to line up there they don't line up so I am not entirely satisfied with this particular product it needs to sit like that and they have to get a, an extender of some sort um, to get it into position all right so a little break there uh, my lunch arrived so I had to have my lunch Let's try and uh, get these into position. They're not even they're not even lining up, to be honest. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do here. So this needs to be uh, approximately there, for example. That it's got got guides of where it goes, where they go in. Let's get these out of the way. You've got guide one, two, three, four. And you've got a little slide, this slide into position, so it goes in like so. It's probably an easy way of doing this. Someone's probably done this before, before me, and done an easier way, but I have no idea how to do it at the moment. So that goes in like so. Uh, for example, it needs to be there. Right. Let's see if we can somehow. Do this so everything is secure. So that has to be like so. But the only way to do this actually is I can see a hole from here, so I can get this screw in on this side. We might be okay here actually. So I'm gonna put this screw in there just to see where that takes us. Not lining up properly. I'll get it in there in a second. So we, need, uh, we need something with a bit of a uh, magnet on it. So that should now get into position. The problem is these are different screws so um, 
they might not go into position. So, so it's the third hole on this side. Let's try that. So we get it out. Put this back in because it's not a very heavy um, drive. We just need to get it in here. So I don't know if that's going to work. We need to put a washer on there or something. See, that's that's okay for that. But these, we need this to go in here. This bracket needs to go in here. And I don't think it will. So that, that's not going to fit. So what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to, um, this should be fine. This should be, yeah, it should be. Okay, so if I put that in there now, put that in there, that goes into the third, third hole there and the other one goes into the other hole here somewhere. Get this little tape off here. Don't need that on there do we? Get that off. And this side as well. Get that tape off. What I'm gonna do, great idea. These are the things that we go through, we have to innovate get things to work so okay so let's just line this up properly line up that goes in there and okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple of washers actually um right yeah we'll get a couple of washers and if you look Just there, that hole in the bracket is lining up with this hole, and we need to have another screw button number three. So, the screws that I've got here that have come with the bracket are too small, uh, they just, they'll just go through the holes. So I'm going to get a, uh, a wa some washers, which I should have in the tray, and pop them in. Right, so what I managed to do is uh, get some uh, other screws and some washers. Now, these screws. Uh, from a PS PlayStation 3, actually. Um, that's why I never throw away old old screws and, and bits. You, you just never know when they'll come in handy. So let's just get try and get this into position. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky uh, getting it in, but once 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 we're in, uh, we should be should be fine. So I'll get a screw uh, and a, a washer. Make sure they go in, just about go in. So never throw away your old gear, the old screws and bolts and nuts. You never know when you're gonna, when you're gonna need those. Uh, I might just do it, I'll take it out because I'll try and get it in afterwards. So I know this goes into the number three, um, just there. So let's just get this one in first of all. Look, problem solving. It's just all, it's all about problem solving, isn't it? All of these things, you know. And when you do solve a problem, it's a, it's a good feeling. It's yeah, it does stimulate the brain, I think. Anyway, so this, that one's in there, not too tight. We'll get the other side in as well, um, if we can. Not sure. Yep. Yeah. As you can see, that all the holes are actually lining up now. Um, so yeah, not a, not a bad one. I can use my electric screwdriver now. Uh, and you can see just there, uh, that is also lining up because the tape was actually covering the hole. So we couldn't actually, um, we didn't know what was behind it, but I had a feeling, oh, that's just probably just a hole there. Luckily for us, it was. Uh, so that's that's screwed in position now, and I've got one more left. Yeah, so the actual screws that came with the bracket, they were too small. They were going to go through the, the actual hexagon holes that you can see here. Um, see, they've fitted quite nicely. So now, hopefully, we can get in. Um, I'm going to have to play around with this a bit because I cannot can't see through through there. So 
goes about there. So, okay, so undo it again. And <clears throat> just about feeling where it goes. I'm not lined up. Just having a look underneath from the side. You can't see me where I'm lining up from. And it does need to. It's all like they're screaming at the screen for thinking, no, you should have done it this way, or you should have got that. But at the end of the day, I've just got this bracket. I want this device done today. I want it out, out of here. I want it gone. Um, or maybe later tomorrow. But you know, it's just about getting things done. I'm gonna screw that in now. I'm not gonna get that into position so it doesn't move. What I have to do now is focus on getting the hard drive um, connector in. I can't actually see. I'm gonna have to. It's actually quite, kind of like a wink. Okay, that's in position. And um, just gonna make sure that that is tight now. I think we're okay. Luckily, we have, see normally this sits on this bracket there, but luckily we had enough play in it to go a bit further. So what I'm going to do now, um, just going to clean up my bench a little bit, get rid of all these little screws. Again, these screws uh, I will need in the future. I'm sure at one point they're going to come in handy. So I'm going to uh, put it back, put the cover back on now. Again, put the top in first, so just from that end, put it that way. It's always a bit tricky getting them back in. Line it up, and there you go, that's all done. And you won't even need to use the screws now because they're, they, they just are for releasing. That's all the four just there. Okay, so that's how you install a SSD in a uh, HP, what is this anyway? It's a HP all-in-one PC, that's all, that's all I can see there at the moment. There must be some more room number 40 somewhere. But there you go, that's all done. Thank you for watching.